Hi, I am Dr. Sakya Bansur, and today I will discuss with you rule of ossification, also called as the law of ossification. Yes, and uh, here you could see this is a long bone, and uh, first of all, you see it is the endochondral ossification and the intracartilaginous pattern of ossification. What happens here uh, that uh, first of all, the primary ossification center appears in the diaphysis right which is also called as the shaft and the secondary ossification centers appear in the ends also known as the epiphysis right here you could see this this is the epiphysis and these are the secondary ossification centers in the epiphysis so what is the rule of ossification with the ossification detail will be discussed in my histology lecture lectures in future it has been seen that long bones of body get ossified in accord with a general rule of ossification. This rule implies that end of a long bone that develops from first appearing secondary center of ossification get fused with diaphysis later than other epiphysis. From this fact, a hypothesis termed growing end hypothesis was made. So what is a growing end of the bone? And the growing end hypothesis, conforming to the growing end hypothesis, one of the two bones ends of a growing long bone keep growing for an extended period than other end. And so is called the growing end of bone. Usually growing end of a bone, long bone is that end of a bone which gets ossified from that secondary center of ossification which appeared first simply rule of ossification expresses that epiphysis which develops from first appearing secondary center of ossification is last to join with the diaphysis. So the rule of ossification, right? It's a short lecture. As the growth rates of the two ends of long bone, bones is different, nutrient phenomena of these bones are at all times directed away from the growing ends. See, you could see this TBIS, this is the largest nutrient foramen. So I've um, shown you this picture of the nutrient foramen of the tibia, right? In upper limb, the upper end of the humerus and the lower end of the ulna are the growing ends, while in the lower limb, upper end of the tibia and lower end of the femur are the growing ends. So since the nutrient foramen of long bones are directed away from growing ends, the nutrient foramen of humerus runs in a downward way, while nutrient foramen of radius and ulna run upwards. Contrarily, nutrient foramen of femur run in an upward way, whereas that of the tibia run downward. It's a tip to memory. The direction of nutrient foramen in the long bones of the limbs can be remembered by the anatomical proverb, from the knee I flee, Toward the elbow, I go. It is significant to note that fibula violates the rule of ossification. Yes, it doesn't follow the rule of ossification, the law of ossification. In fibula bone, a secondary center of ossification appears in its lower, the distal end, in the first year of the life, and in its upper, the proximal end, in the third year of life. Violating the general rule of ossification, distal epiphysis joins diaphysis earlier in 15th year in girls and in 17th year in boys, while proximal end joins epiphysis later in 17th year in girls and in 19th year in boys. As a result, the nutrient foramen of fibula is directed upwards and does not flee from the knee. So I this is, you could see this, um, this is the bone fibula, right? So this is the various aspects discussed with every bone of the body in my lectures previously. You can go back there and watch the fibula anatomy as well. So thank you very much for watching my video. Please do subscribe to support my channel and don't forget to put a comment down below my videos after liking and sharing. Thank you very much.